In this video, we will illustrate how to apply the center of gravity method to a location selection problem. Let's start by having a look at the problem and identifying the requirements. Microserve provides computer repair services on a contract basis to customers in five sections of the city. The five sections, the number of service contracts, and the X and Y coordinates of each section are shown in the table below. The requirement is simple. Use the center of gravity method to determine an ideal location for a service center. Now before we dive into the problem, let's quickly review what the center of gravity method is all about. The center of gravity method applies simple equations to determine a central location for a single facility based on demand as well as distance between existing locations by calculating x and y coordinates. Now don't panic or be afraid of the letters and the summation signs and subscripts when you see this formula. The formulas are actually way easier to apply than they look. The equation to determine the x-coordinate for the center of gravity, or Cx, is the sum of xi times wi divided by the sum of wi. And the equation to determine the y-coordinate of the center of gravity, Cy, is the sum of yi times wi divided by the sum of wi. Xi and Yi are simply the individual X and Y coordinates of the existing facilities or customers that we're looking to serve, or in this case, the coordinates for the different sections of the city. Wi is simply the volume of goods, or in this problem, contracts, in each section of the city. So basically, all you need to do to find Cx is simply sum each of the individual coordinates, multiply by the individual weights, and then divide by the sum of the weights. You do exactly the same to find Cy, Again, adding together all of the individual y-coordinates multiplied by the individual weights and then dividing that sum by the sum of all the weights. Note that the denominator in each equation, the sum of the total weights is exactly the same in the calculations of both Cx and Cy. So now let's get back to our problem. Here's that list of sections in the city again with the number of contracts in each section and the coordinates of each section. Now if we were to overlay these on a map and plot the xy coordinates on a grid, we can see where each area appears on a map. The question becomes where do we put the facility that would best serve our customers? We could try to put it near the center of all the sections. Or what about here, closer to the three sections on the right? Tough call. The problem is that the little data points aren't very helpful, but when we consider the size of each area based on how many contracts there are, we can see where the big sections are and where the small sections are. Like the gravity exerted by large and small planets, they all pull on a body, and the bigger planets exert more pull than the smaller ones. The center of gravity method therefore recognizes this effect and helps us find the optimal location closer to larger service areas. So let's proceed with calculating Cx. In the numerator, we take 8 times 90 plus 6.7 times 220 times 12, oh sorry, plus 12 times 50 plus 15 times 300, plus 11.7 times 170. Now see from the data that the numbers in front of the numbers in the brackets correspond to the x-coordinates for each customer, so 8, 6.7, etc. The number in the brackets is just the number of contracts, so 9, 220, 50, etc. Then for the denominator, we just add all of the weights, so 90 plus 220 plus 50 plus 300 plus 170. Then we follow the math through, and we get 9,283 divided by 830, and the final answer for the x-coordinate for the center of gravity is 11.18. Now we go ahead and do the same for the y-coordinate, Cy. In the numerator, we take 10.5 times 90, plus 5.9 times 220, plus 5.2 times 50, plus 6.3 times 300, plus 8.3 times 170. Again, you see where the 10.5 and 5.9, etc. are the y-coordinates from the individual areas, and the numbers inside the brackets are the same weights used in the calculation for the x-coordinate. For the denominator, we use the same numbers as in the denominator for the x-coordinate, which are the individual weights of 90 plus 220 plus 50 plus 300 plus 170. If we finish out the math, we get 5,804 divided by 830 and a y-coordinate of 6.99. Thus, the coordinates of the center of gravity for where we might consider putting the service center is at 11.18, 6.99. Let's go see where this is on our grid. 11.18, 6.69 is about here. 
It happens to be close to the center of the customers, but not exactly, and that's because the big areas are exerting their size in opposite directions.